Oumuamua is the first object to pass through the solar system that we're certain came from interstellar space. It was discovered using a telescope in Hawaii called PanStars 2, and its name translates from the Hawaiian as scout or messenger from far away. In 2019, a second visitor from outside the solar system was found, an interstellar comet, now known as 2I Borisov, after the Russian amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov, who discovered it. Oumuamua was first seen on October 17, 2017, 40 days after its closest approach to the Sun. At the time of its discovery, it was 33 million kilometers from Earth, or about 85 times the distance of the Moon, and already heading back into deep space. Its speed and trajectory can only be explained if it came from beyond the solar system. It's on a steeply inclined hyperbolic path, moving so fast that it can't possibly be in a closed orbit like those of comets or other bodies that go around the Sun, What's more, it came into the solar system from more or less the direction in which the Sun is moving through the galaxy, exactly what would be expected of an object that came from interstellar space. The most unusual feature about Oumuamua is its shape. It's very elongated. It never came close enough for astronomers to capture images that show its shape, but from measuring its light curve, how the amount of light we receive from it varies from hour to hour, we know that it's tumbling around as it moves along, and that its length of at least 100 meters is up to 10 times greater than its width or thickness. That would make it at least as elongated as any object seen before in the solar system. Its color is dark red, similar to that of the Trojan asteroids that move in the same orbit as Jupiter, and some other small objects in the outer solar system. So, what is it exactly? Is it an interstellar asteroid, or an interstellar comet, or is it something else? Oumuamua never developed a tail like that of a typical comet. On the other hand, its path on leaving the solar system shows that it's undergone a slight acceleration. This could be explained by uneven heating, which can happen to asymmetric rotating objects, or it might be due to outgassing. In other words, its small acceleration could be caused by volatile materials near its surface that are being vaporized by heat from the sun and having an effect like a small rocket engine. The fact is, we never got a close enough view of Oumuamua to know exactly what it is. It has features in common with some asteroids, and also with dead comets. Another possibility, given its unusual shape, is that it's a binary asteroid, or perhaps a shard of a larger object that suffered a collision in the remote past. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, a lot of attention in the popular media has been given to the idea that Oumuamua might be artificial, specifically that it's an alien spacecraft. This hypothesis has been promoted by the Harvard astronomer Arvi Loeb, who's written a book about it, called Extraterrestrial. There's nothing unscientific about the possibility that alien races might exist in the galaxy, and that they might send out probes to investigate other star systems, but Loeb has almost no support from the wider astronomical community for his suggestion that Oumuamua is artificial. On the contrary, we'd expect that the solar system is frequently visited by natural objects from interstellar space. It's been estimated that there are perhaps 10 trillion trillion, or 10 to the 25, rogue asteroids, comets, and other forms of rocky or icy debris roaming around the galaxy that have been thrown out of the stellar systems in which they originated. Given this vast number, we'd expect at least several interstellar visitors to come into and then leave the inner part of the solar system every year. The fact that we've only just started detecting them is down to the fact that we've only really just started looking, thanks to sensitive instruments like PanStars, which take detailed pictures of the entire sky almost every night. 
We're on the cusp of finding many more temporary visitors from interstellar space, as the discovery of a second one, not long after the first, has made clear. Unlike Oumuamua, the nature of comet Borisov is much more obvious for several reasons. It was spotted earlier, when it was still approaching the Sun, so we've had longer to study it, while it was reasonably close. It's much bigger, about six kilometers across, and it developed a very comet-like coma and tail. We may never know for sure the exact nature of Oumuamua, but as time goes on, we'll be able to fit what we have learned about it into the spectrum of possibilities for these lonely travelers from the stars.